Okay, so um, this is my 35 millimeter camera. Uh, so it's a Pentax uh, Z20, and it's uh, from the 90s. It was actually my dad's. He bought this um, in Hong Kong while he and my mom uh, were on their honeymoon. So this is around like the this is like what a 30 year old camera. I I can't do math. My name is Miguel Omario. I am a photographer and an aspiring film director. My passion, well, I have a lot of passions, but uh, the main thing for me is movies and photography. What I love about movies is that they are vessels to tell these very human stories. I've been fascinated by the way uh, George Lucas and these other storytellers were able to craft such a wonderfully intricate universe uh, while telling uh, fascinating stories about overcoming good versus evil, or um, the differences in politics, or say overcoming uh, their inner demons. I like to tell stories uh, through pictures because I know pictures are worth a thousand words, and I try to make them feel as authentic as possible, which is why I mostly shoot on uh, 35 millimeter film and 120 film. I want to be able to capture these these moments on something tangible. I went back home to the Philippines uh, this summer, and it was going to be my first time. It was to be my first time shooting um, 35 millimeter film and 120 millimeter film internationally. So the biggest hurdle I had to overcome was getting my film through security because x-rays usually mess up your film. So I remember I brought around 10 rolls of 35 and about 10 rolls of, um, of like 120. I also briefly went to the Bangkok, um, Bangkok in Thailand and spent about like two, three days there and it was freaking awesome because you get to see like a number of famous uh, Buddhist temples and you get to go to like these nice um, offshore markets. I did feel uh, well prepared at first, but when I started shooting more and more and more, I felt like you know, I really got to conserve my shots. So I try to be more particular with my pictures and I try not, I try to make every shot count. The biggest plan that I have for next year is I want to start charging for private shoots. Uh, I've done a lot of, done a lot of shooting in anime conventions. Over the course of this year, I pretty much become comfortable with the medium. I've gotten to a point where I think this is the right time for me to start charging for shoots uh, because I, I see that a lot of people like my work and Frankly, I actually appreciate that. I, I still think I have a lot of things to work on as a photographer. There's always something to work on. You know, this is gonna be the first big step for me.